Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on longitude and latitude. In this video, we'll be calculating distances along small circles. So we start with the first problem. X is a point on latitude 28.6 degrees north and longitude 105.7 degrees west. Y is on the same latitude as X but lies on longitude 34.3 degrees west. Calculate the distance between X and Y along latitude 28.6 degrees north. Assume that the Earth is sphere of radius 6,370 kilometers. So in our solution, we are going to sketch the diagram locating the point X and uh, Y on the X surface. So we have the North Pole, the center, this is the equator. And uh, the first point X is 28.6 degrees north. So we draw the latitude 28.6 degrees north and longitude 105.7 degrees west. We have the longitude 105.7 degrees west. And the point X is at the point of the intersection of the latitude 28.6 degrees north and longitude 105.7 degrees west. Then the second point, which is Y, still lie on the same latitude. So it lies on latitude 28.6 degrees north for different longitude. So longitude 34.3 degrees west. So we have the longitude 34.3 degrees west. And this is point Y. This is a small circle with center C and with small radius R. So we bring out the circle 28.6 degrees north and get our sector. This is the center C and um, radius R, C to X is radius, C to Y is also radius. The angular difference is given as theta. This is still an arc of a circle to be calculated. So we have our formula, X, Y equal to theta over three CC times two pi R. That is this arc X, Y, our radius, which is small radius, it was stated earlier that it is smaller than 6,370 kilometers. And uh, we are told R, which is small R, is R cos alpha. That is the big R, the real radius of the Earth cos alpha. And uh, for our information, we get our theta. Since their longitudes are in the same region, we are going to subtract. That's going to give us. 105.7 minus 34.3 degrees that gives 71.4 degrees then we get our alpha our alpha is always obtained from the common latitude which is 28.6 so we have it as 28.6 degrees then we can now calculate the radius of the latitude 28.6 degrees so the radius is r 6370 cos 28.6 degrees from the calculator we have it as 5592.8 kilometers we then go ahead to calculate the distance between the two point x and the y so we have it as theta over 360, that's 71.4 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times the small radius, which we calculated here, times 5,592.8. If you input this in the calculator, we have it as 6,972.4 kilometers. To three significant figures, I have it as 6,970 kilometers. So that's the end of solution to problem one.
We then go to problem two. For problem two, calculate the distance measured along the parallel of latitude between A, 36 degrees south, 14 degrees east, and B, 36 degrees south, 18 degrees west. What is the speed of rotation of point A? Take R to be 6,400 kilometers and pi to be 22 over 7. So in our solution, we still sketch the diagram. So this is the equator. For your information, they lie on the same latitude, which is 36 degrees south. So we get the common latitude, 36 degrees south. And the longitude of A is 14 degrees east. So we have 14 degrees to the east. So that point A will be here the point of intersection of longitude 14 degrees and latitude 36 degrees then we go for point b which is 18 degrees west so the longitude of b is 18 degrees to the west and the point b is here that's the point of intersection of 36 degrees south and 18 degrees west so we have the point b there this is still along a small circle where we have to locate the center as C and the small radius to be calculated. So bringing out the sector there, this is it. We need to calculate theta again, radius, and then identify our alpha. So from our formula, our theta is going to be 18 plus 14 plus they are in different regions. One is in the east, the other one is in the west. This is giving us 32 degrees. Then our alpha, which is obtained from the common latitude, which is 36 degrees south. So our alpha will be 36 degrees. We then calculate the small radius, that is radius of the latitude 36 degrees. So the radius is going to be 6400 cos 36 degrees. Input this in our calculator, we have 5177.7 kilometers. Then we go ahead to calculate AB. AB is 32 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times the small radius, which is 5177.7. If we input this in our calculator again, we have 2,892.9 kilometers. To three significant figures, we have 2,890 kilometers. We have done justice to the first part of the problem. So we go ahead to calculate the speed of rotation of A. So we have extracted only point A. So we are looking for the speed of rotation of point A. See, this is it. If the Earth is rotating, the point A rotates along with it within 24 hours. So to calculate the speed of rotation of the point A, we calculate the circumference of the latitude 36 degrees south and divide by 24. So circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So we now have it as 2 times 22 over 7, then times our r, 5177.7, then divide by 24, that's 7 times 24. We punch this on our calculator, we have 1,360 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed of rotation of the point A due to the rotation of the Earth. That's all for problem two, and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get other videos on longitude and latitude. Until we come your way again, goodbye.